a visit from St. Nicholas 1823 by Clement Clark Moore July 15, 1779 to July 10, 1863 twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even the mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums tanked in their heads, and Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, door open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature slave, and a tiny reindeer, with a little old driver, so lightly and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled, and shouted, and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, um, Cotmet, um, Cupid, um, Dottier and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane flight when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and saint nicholas too and then in a twinkling i heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof, as I drew in my head, and what turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. The bundle of toys was flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack, his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow, the stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke. It encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face, and a little round belly that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney heroes. He sprung to his slave, to his team gave the whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle, but I heard him exclaim. There he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.